Okay, I see a lot of people having issues with performances and FPS in their games, so let's do a quick video on visual and graphical settings. I'm gonna try to be fast because nobody wants to watch a 30 minute video to explain all this. I will be using Escape from Pripyat 3.0 to make this video, but like most of the stuff I'm gonna talk about is good for Anomaly too. Okay, let's get started. I'm not gonna go too much into details, I'm gonna try to be quick. So you should be using DirectX 11. It's basically 10, but better. If you have to use 8 or 9, you're playing on such a potato. I'm sorry, this video is not for you. We're playing on a potato too, but like a nicer potato. If this is not grayed out, it means that your CPU supports AVX, so you should use it. Shadow map should be at the minimum and use prefetch sounds too. It helps with the stuttering. Graphical settings, nothing crazy, I'm playing in HD, borderless window, whatever. Always, always, always check deleting shadow cache, so you can see actually the differences when you change graphical settings. Let's go. Okay, now that we are in game, let's go to setting, visuals, advanced. Two quick things. I'm not gonna show you before and after for every single setting, just trust me, basically, we're doing like a quick video today. Second point, of course it's gonna be slightly different for everybody. Use this video as a baseline and then tweak things on your own. Okay, let's use the high preset and we're gonna work our way from there. Headlamps for stalkers, yeah, sure. Vertical sync, no. FPS limiter, you can put it 10, 15 higher than your screen refresh rate, but eh, just don't use it, it's fine. Rendering distance, does it matter? Yes, sure. Does it matter as much as people say it does? Eh, not really. World and static objects have a very small influence on my game, at least for me. A uh, dynamic object is, uh, has a much bigger impact, and it really depends if you're using HD models or not. You don't want to put it too low, because it's gonna, you're not gonna see enemies anymore from far away, so yeah, you just like need to find a balance. Generally, like, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna keep it at default of high preset, because it works pretty well for me. Uh, shadow culling, yes, sure. Rendering quality, it's another thing that doesn't have like that big of an influence after like trying out pretty much everything. I leave everything at the maximum because yeah, it doesn't change anything. Anisotropic filtering doesn't do anything either. Anti-aliasing could be off and SMA, SMAA can be high. Uh, SMA actually performs better than anti-aliasing. Uh, bump parallax tessellation, you can leave everything on. It doesn't really have any impact. Grass, 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 grass is the big killer. Actually, I find that the default setting of the high preset is perfect. I like my grass size to be one, so it's not too short. I like this density, so the landscape doesn't look too barren. And uh, 125 rendering distance is actually pretty good. If you go higher than that, yes, it's like uh, it's gonna kill your FPS. Like this setting is actually pretty good. And grass shadows is a magic FPS killer too. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, the game looks much nicer, in my opinion, with it, so I tend to leave it on, but it has a big, big FPS in impact, so that's up to you. Lighting, actually, I like to have the distance at 0.5 and the shadow quality at 0.5. Like, between these two, it's like a 5 FPS scan for me. Sh actor shadow should be disabled. Specular, between 2.5 and 5. I leave it at 2.5. Sun shadow, yes. Uh, shadow quality, leave it to extreme, actually, it m works better this way. Sunrise mode volumetric, uh, sunrise quality, yes, high, leave, let this to default. SSAO mode, so if you are using the aggressor shader, like it already has this included in it, so you keep it off. If you don't use a shader, if you don't use the aggressor shader, HBAO for NVIDIA graphic cards, HDO for AMD. SSO quality will be off because we're not using it. Actually, if you are not using a shader, you can try SSDO on a medium profile. Like if you have very bad performance, you should try this. Anyways, depth of field, motion blur, nobody cares about that, we don't want them. Then volumetric light and smoke, soft water and particles. They have clearly an impact on performance, but they actually make the game looks much nicer, so it's completely up to you. I would disable soft water and particles first, especially on certain maps, because it can it can eat up your FPS. Uh, yeah, like here it's it's more like a, it, this one is really a trade-off when you're really gonna see a difference. But hey, what, what do you want to do? Then you go to the zone. Population factors for mutants and stalkers should not be higher than one if you have performance issues, and offline combat should be off. And then last thing, in gameplay general, make sure that all the corpse despawning options are at the minimum, so there's like no corpses everywhere eating your FPS when you're fighting. And that's it pretty much for these settings. 
Okay, after doing all this, you should install this texture pack that you can find on Discord. It's actually very, very well optimized and I gain like 10 FPS everywhere across the board. Another thing that literally eats FPS are the HD models. So you can completely disable them, especially if you don't like them, or you can like maybe try like something like the HD light. I haven't tried myself, but looking at the comments, it seems to be working pretty well. Okay, and two small last things that you can try, just in case. So first, you can go and find your uh, the launcher you're actually using. So for me, it's the DirectX 11 AVX. You can go to Properties, and you're gonna disable the full screen optimizations. And the second thing is like checking that your CPU is working correctly with Stalker. So you're just gonna download Process Lasso. And the easiest way is simply like to start anomaly to wait for it to show up on the list. And then you simply make sure that the priority is high and you prevent the CPU to use the zero CPU, pretty much. I've seen this somewhere, I tried it. I didn't see a giant difference, but hey, you can still try. If you have some more knowledge on this or some more tips to share, please, please, please leave a comment. I'm gonna update the video description with the best advice. Okay, thanks for watching and see you soon. Mm -hmm.